What's going on YouTube? Chosen GFX here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to mod your gamer score using a USB flash drive. Now, I'm also doing this because not just for the views and, you know, just for the fun of the tutorial, but I usually get asked a lot to mod people's gamer scores, and I'm just I don't really like doing it too much cuz it's kind of annoying. It's 5 minutes that I don't want to waste. But um yeah, so this is for those people. So just to show you there, I don't have almost any achievements for the games that I just quickly added to my Xbox. So first thing you want to do is sign out because it's going to ask you to sign out anyways. Go to your system settings and go to your memory. Go to your memory unit, which is your USB flash drive and select. No, I'm sorry. I already configured my uh, my USB. It's going to ask you to configure now when you press A on your flash drive. So go ahead and configure if you haven't already. It's going to take like 20 seconds or so. Afterwards, go to your hard drive and select the gamer profile that you want to uh, mod. And select move. And transfer it to your USB flash drive. So now I'm going to stop recording on my Xbox here and I'm going to go over to my computer screen and show you what to do from there. So just give me a second. Okay so now that you put your USB um, onto your computer go ahead and open up your XDAF and go to open device Go to content, keep clicking. Click until it won't let you click any further. That's going to be your profile. And then save to where you want to save. I recommend your desktop just to make things a lot easier on yourself. Afterwards, open up your uh, profile editor. Go to the big X and hit open and select your profile. Now I added a few games here just uh, just to give you guys an example. And then go to offline and unlock all offline and you're going to get this little pop up window. You can read that. It doesn't really matter though. Um, just hit yes so you can keep doing what you're doing you're gonna get that for every game so actually if you wanna get a certain achievement just uh, a specific one you can um, just click on the achievement on itself and instead of unlock all just hit set but make sure you still select offline on the little bubble and then when you're done just go to the big X and save but before you do that um, delete the profile that you have on your desktop. You can make a copy of it if you want just to be extra safe. You don't need to. So just hit save and that's going to be your modded profile. And I'm having some trouble with profile editor. I guess it's still loading or doing what it's doing but it's tweaking. Okay so afterwards open up your modio and I'm gonna have all these folders here for download so check the description and if you have trouble opening any of these programs or working with them if you're on Vista try uh, running as administrator and then just drag and drop your modded profile into Mario wait for it to load and hit rehash and resign and you're going to hit you're going to hear a little bell and that should be it that should indicate that it worked so you can double click just to be extra certain but you don't have to and then just close out go back to your xdef delete that profile that you had and drag and drop the modded profile and that should be it go back to your Xbox okay so once you have your modded profile into your Xbox 
I'm sorry, into your flash drive. Make sure that you uh, put in your flash drive back into your Xbox, obviously. Um, then go to your USB drive, select your monitor profile, and transfer it back to your hard drive. And make sure your Ethernet cable is disconnected from your Xbox so you're um, disconnected from the internet and sign in offline. And as you can see, all the achievements are completed on every game that I added including the online achievements and it's gonna take a while to load them but they're there if you notice um, the achievement description at the top and they're actually loading little by little so they're there and now what you want to do is restart your Xbox and sign back online. Connect your Ethernet cable back into your Xbox. And it's taking a little bit to load. I don't know why, it's probably because I have a game in this tray. So sign back in. And it's going to take a while because it's probably loading your achievement. So the achievements are there and if you're worried about the code of conduct, it has nothing to do with the modding. That's because I put something, I guess, inappropriate on my bio, something that Xbox Live didn't allow so you don't have to worry about any of that. And those are all the achievements that I unlocked for those games and you're online and it worked. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and please subscribe and I can guarantee more videos just like this. So thanks a lot. Like the video, subscribe, comment.